Drivers heading into East Honolulu are finding themselves in the dark tonight. The streetlights are out over a long stretch of Kalani Anaole Highway. The outage affects the eastbound lanes and starts shortly after the H1 freeway turns into Kalani Anaole. KITV 4's Jody Leong joins us live. Jody, what's the State Transportation Department saying about this outage? That the light system is ancient, Paula. Parts of it have broken down and the necessary parts had to be ordered from the mainland. Bottom line, there will be no lights in that area until the end of March. Until then, it will be difficult to see bikers and runners on this stretch of Kalani Anaole Highway. The street lights are dead in the eastbound lanes up until Wailupe Park. You don't realize how dark it is until you don't have any lights. It's dangerous without lights. I mean, it, it's, it's one of the busiest highways on the island. Jog to the table and back. Soccer coach Gary Murakami is concerned for his players and their parents who must travel this way to get to and from soccer practice. We thought that, you know, some of the neighbors don't like the lights on because it shines into their home. Not quite. The state transportation department says the light system is broken and required an upgrade. The system itself is actually really, really ancient, so they don't even make parts anymore to replace the broken parts. The DOT had to switch to an updated system, which required ordering new parts from the mainland. DOT crews are working weekends to replace the system. And then HECO will take over and um, transition the new system into their system. And that should be complete by the end of March. That has some commuters concerned. It's so dark. It's very difficult to see. And it's very dangerous, and I just hope they can get to it as soon as possible because somebody's going to get into an accident. The Department of Transportation is asking drivers for their patience and urging commuters to use extra caution during this time. We should also mention streetlights have also been out on both sides of the H1 freeway this past week from the Coco Head Off ramp through Kalani Anaole Highway, parts of it, but they were back on this evening. The DOT is investigating that for us tonight. Reporting live, Jody Leon, KITV4 News.